Hi everybody, Tony from DiveTech here. I've received lots of questions and some confusion on these nerd clamps that I'm making, and I wanted to make a video to help you understand what you're getting and what you need to know. The first thing you need to know is the diameter of the barrel clamp itself. Uh, I initially released these for the KISS, but that wasn't clear to a lot of people, and people were buying them for different rebreathers, and the diameter was incorrect. So I've made a few changes, and the first thing is I've made a different clamp for each rebreather, and I've been putting the name of the rebreather embossed into the clamp itself. The reason for these complex nerd clamp designs is to compensate for something called pupillary distance. Basically, this is how far your eyeballs are apart from each other, and it differs from person to person. You don't need to measure, but this is important to know because the nerd has such a narrow field of view so as you can see here, if we just move the barrel of this nerd just a few degrees, the display disappears from our field of view. It doesn't take much. So when using a fixed mount like this one, you can compensate for that and you can make adjustments in the field of view by sliding the mount along the x-axis. And you can also rotate it around the x-axis. And these two provide a lot of adjustment in how you can see the nerd. There's only so much movement along the x-axis you can have, and some rebreather DSVs don't allow for any movement along this axis. So to compensate for this, we introduce some rotation on the horizontal plane into the design, and this allows it to align precisely with your eye. Now this is gonna vary from person to person. For most people, the default rotation that I've built into these is adequate, and you can make fine-tune adjustments by sliding it back and forth as needed. For other people, uh, you may require a different angle of rotation, which is something I can easily compensate for. You just need to ask me. Really important to note that all of these HUD brackets I've designed are set up for right-sided viewing, meaning that the HUD is mounted to the right side of the DSV and the rotation is in a clockwise direction, anywhere from two to seven degrees. If you would like to put the HUD on the left side of the DSV, that means the rotation angle has to be opposite. And I can do that easily enough, you just need to let me know. But if you try to take one of these mounts and use it on the left side, you're going to find that the angle is not suited for viewing. To make things easier, I've been embossing the degree of rotation right here, and I've also been indicating whether it's a right or left rotation. Okay, assembly is very easy. You need to get two M3 stainless steel nuts, and you need to get two M3 stainless steel hex screws. The one on the top should be 10 millimeters, and the one on the side can be 14 millimeters. Assembly is just very easy. You take your nut and just insert it into this recess here, and then screw the screw in with the nerd in place, and then snug it down. Don't over tighten it or you could break the nerd or the clamp. Okay, for the Meg and the Revo rebreathers, I have a slightly different design. The reason for that is because the Meg and the Revo have their hoses clamped directly to the DSV. They don't have hose nuts like some other rebreathers do. So design number one replaces your existing hose clamp. This entire assembly goes on in place of the hose clamp that secures your loop hose to your DSV. If you are uncomfortable with that thought, I have a second design. This one here uses your existing steel worm gear clamp that secures your hose to the rebreather and then this HUD assembly just slides over that. It's very similar to the existing MEG HUD design that many of you are familiar with on the MEG 2.7 or MEG 15. Okay, last, just a quick word about the reliability. Yes, these are 3D printed, and they're 3D printed out of plastic, but I have been using my original version 1 design for over a year here in the Cayman Islands without any difficulty. I've been diving it several times per week, and it's held up very well to the sunlight exposure and to the rigors of diving. Despite that, I've actually made a few improvements to the design. I've made the thickness of the clamps on both the DSV side and the nerd side thicker. I've increased them from 2 millimeters to 3 millimeters. As well, I've increased the thickness of where the bolts and nuts mount to as well. Lastly, customization. Anything in these designs can be modified, or I can make something entirely new in any material you can think of. The stuff that I'm showing now are 3D printed for convenience and economy, but I can also do CNC machining or even injection molding if you want a lot of them. If you can think it, I can make it, just ask. Thanks for watching.